Alright, hey guys, Omni Game here, doing another collection video, and today I'm going to be doing a collection video on one of my all time favourite game franchises, and that is the Doom series. Now, I'm an absolute huge, huge fan of the Doom games. I've actually got a Ultimate Doom poster right here on my wall with um, signatures from some of the developers, and I've also got um, this poster from the Doom reboot, which came free of my copy of a uh, Doom Slayers collection. But, um, so this is obviously, as you can see, it's a pretty small um, Doom collection. I'm obviously missing a lot of games, a lot of different ports as well. But, um, but I own pretty much like at least one version of all the Doom games because really there's only like five of them, you know, unless you want to count things like Final Doom and like Doom 64 and stuff. But like other than that, I have at least a version of every single Doom game. And also like in the future, you know, when I do get more Doom games, uh, you know, I can always do an update to this, but as of January 2021, this is every um, Doom game that I own in my collection. But anyway, with that being said, let's just go through all my Doom games. So starting things off, we have the PlayStation version of Doom. Uh, this is known as the Custom PlayStation Edition in North America. Um, here's the manual. Um, yeah, my copy is just uh, it's in a an old like CD case, but. Um, yeah, this was back in the days when um, Doom console ports were all like, um, even though they were still based on the same game. Like, this was back when, like, um, you know, the console ports of Doom were all like, um, you know, pretty much built from the ground up for that specific system. And um, whereas, like, the more modern ports are pretty much just, you know, directly, um, you know, just direct ports of the MS-DOS version. But um, the PlayStation version was really interesting because this one obviously had um, it had a completely different um, soundtrack. It was more like eerie, you know, than the original. It had new sound effects as well, and it was just a really good port of Doom. Like honestly, like even though nothing will ever really beat the uh, the MS DOS original, you know, this was still a really excellent version of Doom. You know, it had this awesome uh, custom artwork, so cool. In fact, they used it on the back as well. But um, yeah, so that's that. Alright, then we've got the two Game Boy Advance ports, so we've got Doom and Doom 2 for the Game Boy Advance, just got the loose cartridges for these. Um, these two were actually handled um, by separate developers, so like, Doom 1 was made by uh, David A. Palmer Productions, whereas Doom 2 is made by Taurus Games, who also did um, Duke Nukem Advance as well, as well as like some other games, but, um, and David A. Palmer Productions also did like a... Uh, Star Wars Episode 2 for the for the Game Boy Advance as well. Alright, next I've got Doom 3 BFG Edition for the Xbox 60. I did actually used to have um, Doom 3 for the original Xbox, uh, but then I sold it years ago. But um, yeah, this one's got Doom 1 and 2 um, as well as you know Doom 3. And um, yeah, I've got the disc and manual right there. Um, yeah, this one obviously added like some some changes to Doom 3. Like for example, the most notable one is the fact that um, like your flashlight is actually um, mounted to your gun in this version, whereas the original, you know, you had to manually um, switch between your flashlight and your gun. But um, but the BFG edition seemed to have made the game like a lot easier, I guess, for um, for newcomers. But um, but yeah, but it was still a pretty decent version of um of Doom 3. And of course, the ports of Doom 1 and 2 on here were pretty much just directly uh, based on the, the DOS version, so they were really good. Although there were sort of like some weird changes, like the health packs and stuff have like pill icons instead of like the, the plus signs and stuff, and some of the sound effects like didn't really sound right, but um, but they were still um, fine enough versions of, of those games. Alright, next we've got the Doom Slayers collection for the PS4. This has Doom, Doom 2, Doom 3, and Doom 2016 on it. Um, so yeah, you get all four of these games in one package, although they kind of cheaped out on this collection because only Doom 2016 comes on the disc. The, the rest of the games are all on a download code. So yeah, so you only get Doom 2016 on a disc and the rest of the games you have to download separately, which is kind of a shame, but you know, it is what it is. But um, this is still a pretty good collection to get, uh, even though Doom 1, 2, and 3 are, are digital. Still, if you like Doom, I still recommend getting this. And of course, it comes with that uh, awesome poster as well. 
All right, next up, got Doom Eternal. Um, I mentioned this in my uh, favorite games of 2020 video. Um, yeah, this is a really excellent game. Doom 2016 was also really good as well. Um, and Doom Eternal obviously is, uh, you know, just like 20, Doom 2016, but even more insane. So, yeah, got that. And last but not least, we got the Nintendo Switch port of Doom 2016. Uh, this was actually the first version of Doom 2016 I played uh, because I got a Nintendo Switch before I got a PS4. So this is my first experience with um, with Doom 2016, and uh, it's a decent version, I'd say. There's a cartridge, uh, cool little artwork uh, right here in the back, but um, yeah, um, I actually played this version, you know, very recently. And, um, yeah, it looks really, really blurry on, like, the Nintendo Switch. I mean, you know, I mean, it's playable. It isn't, like, say, the Super Nintendo or the 3DO version of Doom, where the frame rate is, like, under 10 FPS. You know, it's a pretty steady frame rate in the Switch version. But, um, yeah, it just looks really blurry. And, at least to me, I find it pretty awkward to play with, like, a... I like the Joy-Con controllers because I don't have a Pro controller, unfortunately. If you don't own a PS4, Xbox One, and you only own a Switch and you really want to play this game, I mean, you know, it's, it's a decent port, but it's it's probably the worst version of, of Doom 2016 that you can get. But it doesn't mean it's bad, it just means that it's, you know, just isn't as good as what you get on like PS4 or Xbox One or whatever. Alright, so those are all the Doom games I have physically. I do actually own one Doom game digitally. Which I'll show you guys uh, very briefly. Guys, so I've got my PS4 on right now. And I just want to show you real quick. If we go to a uh, library. I've got installed Doom 64. So yeah, so I've got Doom 64 digitally on my PS4. Um, I did hear that um, Limited Run Games is actually going to release a, a physical edition of Doom 64. For both the PS4 and Switch. Um... I might actually get that, you know, probably for the Switch actually, because as you can see I've already got Doom 64 on the PS4, but um, but yeah, but as you can see, got all the Doom games installed on my PS4, uh, Doom 2016's right up there, and I've got, you know, Doom 1, 2, 3, 64, and Eternal, but um, yeah, so that's the only Doom game I got digitally, I've got KSI in my background there. Anyway, uh, let me know in the comments, what's your favourite Doom game? My favourite is Doom 2. Uh, absolutely love that game, one of my favourite games of all time. And um, yeah, let me know what uh, Doom games you got, what versions uh, you own. And um, yeah, anyway, please like, subscribe, and peace.